for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you to our witnesses uh, for sharing your time and expertise with us today. And I don't want to repeat uh, some of the items that have been uh, addressed by my colleagues. I uh, certainly do want to, though, uh, uh, add uh, perhaps emphasis uh, that I'm encouraged by various efforts uh, that can hopefully uh, build more capacity. And I think there are great opportunities uh, for the future here. And as we do work through the customs challenges and so forth, I'm, I'm just wondering about some additional barriers that exist, uh, specifically with the South Africa, Nigeria, and uh, uh, members of the South African development community uh, and as it relates to unscientific sanitary and phytosanitary uh, and other uh, tariff or non-tariff barriers uh, to agriculture, our agriculture exports. Uh, can you, uh, any of you reflect on that uh, a bit? If I may, uh, uh, Congressman, this is an issue that um, we have looked at uh, carefully. And, and I think there's a feeling among a number of our uh, poultry producers, for example, that uh, South Africa does practice uh, unfair, uh, has, un has unfair practices as it concerns U.S. Uh, poultry products going into the country. And, and this is a problem. And I think we really need to uh, engage the South Africans in a very sustained and serious way so that we can uh, level the playing field. Because South Africa is a very important partner to the United States. We tried to develop a free trade agreement 2003-2006 and it didn't work. South Africa has a free trade agreement with the EU. And it suggests to me that we really haven't been a, we haven't sorted out our relationship. So there are a number of issues, and I would like to see us really take a step back, engage in a sustained exercise between the U.S. government and the South African government to really chart what our, commu our commercial future looks like and how we get to sort of a post Goa relationship, because I think it's going to start there, and we haven't done a good job to really uh, embrace that challenge. Okay. Well, Mr. Leo, in your testimony, you mentioned that the preferential access under AGOA should be contingent on noticeable economic improvements. Uh, would you suggest uh, that these improvements would include ironing out these, uh, these disputes based on the uh, sanitary and phytosanitary, SPS, if you will, uh, standards or various trade policies relating to that? Th thank you, sir, for, for the opportunity to comment on this. Um, in, uh, in full transparency, I'm not intimately familiar with, with this set of, of issues related to, to South Africa. In terms of the eligibility requirements, though, more broadly, I think there's a couple of guiding principles that should be applied if, uh, if Congress decides and the executive branch decides to go in this direction. I think it needs to be real. Um, and transparent in terms of the principles that would be applied to all countries and would be um, um, tracked by third-party data that's public. So it's, in essence, it's apolitical in terms of action has either been taken or it's not been taken. Um, and then along with that, there would need to be a transition period so that African governments actually have the opportunity to address any of the issues that are, under, that are being tracked and then implemented in the country determination process. Whether um, uh, the issues that you raise should be a part of, of, of those specific criteria that are related to the business climate or other, uh, uh, other uh, operating climate issues uh, could be debated, could be, could be discussed and maybe adopted later. Uh, at this point, I've, I've focused more in terms of what the guiding principles should be with specifics that could be fleshed out later if, uh, if the parties that be decide that this is a, a sound way to go, which I believe it is in, in, in uh, general terms. Sure. And I, <clears throat> I would very uh, straightforwardly suggest that the more we can stick to the scientifically based uh, standards, uh, the better off everyone is, whether it's consumers uh, in another country who would consume our products that uh, are safe, uh, we, we do want to focus on these standards that um, we've been able, I think, to uh, achieve some, some progress in ironing these things out uh, with, with some other countries. Uh, but it is something that I think uh, needs addressing, not just with this issue, but others too, uh, as, we, as we do move forward. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'll yield back.